So J car J car is a trend line that shows initial lows immediately, uh, followed by a dramatic gain. In a chart, this pattern of activity would follow the shape of uh, a capital J, capital capital letter J. A J curve effect is often cited in economics to describe, for instance, the way that the country's balance of trade initially worsens following a devaluation of its currency, then quickly recovers and finally surpasses its previous performance. So what I'm trying is uh, J curve looks like this one. This, this is called J curve. What does it uh, mean and uh, what you can see from this uh, graph and the X axis shows the time and the Y axis shows the performance and the curve looks like a J, the capital letter J and uh, we can see that the investment decline baseline uh, and improving the performance. So, uh, can you interpret this graph? And this is what is interpreting here. J curve is a trend line that shows an initial loss immediately followed by a dramatic gain. So, some we, we feel that some initial loss here. And after that, there is a sudden increase in the performance. So, how does uh, it happen? What was the reason behind this sudden increase of uh, performance? Performance means the performance of trade. Trade, trade is improving. So at the same time, consumers at home begin to buy more locally produced goods. Because these things, uh, the, the thing was happened because of uh, devaluation. So what is devaluation? Decrease in the value of currency, domestic currency. Decrease in the value of domestic currency. Exactly. Devaluation means decrease in the value of domestic currency. When we devalue the currency, the domestic currency's price exchange value will be decreased as compared to foreign currency. Suppose one dollar is equal to 75 rupees. When we devalue currency, that 75 rupees suddenly go up to sometimes 80 or 85 rupees. What would be the impact? What would be the impact of this devaluation? After devaluation, the export will improve because, because the exporters will get more revenue. You know that? Exporters will get more revenue because yesterday the price was $1 is equal to 74 rupees and today it was Today it is like 80 rupees and he will get 5 rupees extra from $1 transaction. So the exporters feels that they are getting more money so they wanted to export more. And what about importers? Import become costly. But it will take time because all the exporters and importers will have to keep up the, uh, the maintenance, will keep up and maintaining the existing contract. So it will take some time to get the benefit of this devaluation. So this time is here. So from this investment to this line, it will take time. And after that, the sudden increase of trade, which was happened and uh, the country's balance of payment position will be improved. So this is called J curve effect. So J curve effect reason was devaluation. After devaluation, the currency's uh, domestic currency's value was uh, decreasing. After that, the export will be more, uh, will be more, and the import will be less because export will be more uh, benefited uh, because of the uh, domestic currency's value decrease. So, but uh, uh, after, at an impact the consumers at the home because the Indian, uh, if, we, if we take the example of India, Indian consumers, uh, uh, you know, Indian consumers may not import goods because the import become very costly because uh, in the last day they can, they need to pay only 75 rupees 
uh, and the exchange. Uh, but today uh, they need to pay more rupees, 80, 80 rupees they have to pay for getting one dollar. So the import will be more expensive so that people will not import goods from the foreign country. That will improve the balance of payment position, you know that. So uh, consumers at home begin to buy more locally produced goods because they are relatively affordable compared to the import. Over time, the trade balance between the nation and its partners bounces back and even exceeds pre-evaluation, pre-devaluation times. So how j works, I already explained the lag between the devaluation and the response on the curve is mainly due to the effect that even after a nation's currency experiences a depreciation, the total value of imports will likely increase. However, the country's exports remain static until the pre-existing trade contract play out. So even though the devaluation uh, has been taken place, but uh, the country's export remains static because of the pre-existing trade contract has to be performed. So it will take some time to get the benefit of devaluation. Over the long term, the large number of foreign consumers may hump bump up their purchases of product that come into their country from the nation with the devalued currency. This product now become cheaper relative to domestically produced product. So this is called J-curve. So J curve, the main reason of J curve or the performance boost up mainly due to devaluation. After devaluation, the country's domestic currency's uh, exchange rate will be decreasing and uh, as compared to the foreign currency uh, exchange rate. And after that, uh, export will be more benefited and import will be costlier. So the, the domestic people or the country's people uh, will be always interested to export goods rather than import. Then after that, the import will be lower and export will be more so that the performance has been increased. So this is called J curve effect. The, the shape of the curve is similar to capital letter J so that it is known as J curve. Hope you have some insights on it. Our J curve.